Is uh, 10 basis points a done deal with the loan prime rate tomorrow? And um, is it enough? And, you know, against uh, a background of tweaking taking place in, uh, say, the MLF facility as well. Good morning, Rashad. Um, so the 10 basis points tomorrow, uh, in our view, in the East Spring is probably a done deal. Uh, the government recognizes that they do need to support the economy. We've seen pretty substantial um, downside surprise in economic data over the last couple of months. Um, you know, at East Spring, we don't expect a very large policy stimulus coming out of China at the moment. I think uh, the government is going to take it one step at a time and see how much is necessary. Um, but certainly uh, steps in the right direction to give more stimulus particularly to the consumer sector, uh, we think is definitely likely. Yeah, and followed by a triple R uh, required uh, uh, ratio there as well, reserve uh, ratio there. Do you think they're going to also be doing something there? And, you know, again, you know, are they doing enough? So just the small monetary tweakings, uh, you know, 10 basis points here and there is probably not enough to really kind of rebound the, uh, the Chinese economy in our view. Um, but they do give a very positive signal to the market. So it acts as a much more uh, signaling mechanism rather than a hard uh, impact on the economy. Um, in order for the economic recovery to sort of gather pace, um, you know, after the declines we've seen over the last couple of months, uh, you need some more fiscal push um, in order to basically support partic particularly the youth population, uh, where you're seeing youth unemployment rates at, uh, you know, 20 plus percent um, and consumer con cons consumption growth coming off. Uh, we do need the policy on the fiscal side to really support uh, to, to support the overall economy. Right. Now, Nupur, this risk rally we've seen in the last two, three weeks, what are the biggest changes you've made to, 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 to your, I guess, what your overweights right now in your portfolio? So um, the rally we've seen over the last couple of weeks have been pretty narrow in nature. Um, we are still positive on global equities. Uh, we think mm. that the growth uh, increase that we've seen, uh, the rebound that we've seen globally, you know, PMI data is above 50, 50, 50 levels of 50 now. Uh, it is predominantly service-led. Um, so the tweaks that we've made is really tampering down the uh, overweight position slightly, uh, but still remaining relatively bullish. Uh, you know, over the medium term, uh, we do expect a recession to eventually gather pace and cause risk assets to decline. Uh, but it's very important to not sort of miss out on the on the near term rally. Um, even after the last three weeks, uh, you know, fund managers are still underweight uh, equities in their portfolios. Um, so positions are not stretched. Uh, sentiment is somewhat getting there. Uh, but it's still it's still not at the point where we think that we should be underweight in equities or even neutral. Um, so you know, for now at East Spring, we are still maintaining our pretty boss positive and a risk on position uh, in our portfolios.